Hello, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing Pilates for absolute beginners. So when you're ready, let's get started. So we're going to start by aligning our body. Okay, we want the ankles and the knees in line and then the knees also in line with the hips. So you don't want to be too wide with those legs. And then you're just going to gently walk yourself back so you're lying down. Once you're lying down, let's bring the feet in a little towards your bottom and place your hands on your abdominals here okay so heels of the hands on the hip bones fingers down towards the pubic bone and we're going to start by aligning the pelvis so this is what we call a neutral pelvis this is when the pelvis is in a very relaxed position so we don't want to be tipping back like this and equally, we don't want to be tipping forward. So I want you to just rock your pelvis back and forth until you feel that those three bones are in line with each other. All right, so you've got a nice neutral spine. You'll find you've got a gap under here, and that's absolutely as it should be. The size of the gap is different because we all have a different shaped spine, so don't worry too much about that. What you do want to do though is bring your hands up to your ribs and gently close those ribs and feel the back of your rib cage just starting to press down slightly towards your mat. And what you're doing here is you're switching on all of your core muscles. Okay, so now we're going to put our hands on our ribs and we're going to work on our breathing for a minute or two. So you're going to take a breath in through the nose and as you do, feel your rib cage expanding out to the side. Very much a sideways movement is what we're looking for. And then as you breathe out, draw those ribs back together. It's like you're closing those ribs. So you're breathing in through the nose, expanding the ribs, and breathing out through the mouth, closing those ribs. Again, deep breath in. And breathing out. Deep breath in. And breathing out. Okay, now we're going to put our hands down on our lower abdominals, so just below the belly button. And we're going to think about how to activate our core here. So you're going to continue with the in-breath as you did, but as you breathe out, I want you to pull your tummy inwards, away from your hands. So you're going to inhale. Exhale, pulling the tummy muscles in. Inhale. And exhale. And again, deep breath in. And exhale. So this is the breathing that we do throughout our Pilates movements. So now we're going to leave the hands there for a moment. We're going to start to move. So you're going to take a breath in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. You're going to pull the tummy muscles in, but add a little tilt at the pelvis. So tilting it towards your face. And as you inhale, take it back and try and find that neutral position where those bones are all level. Okay, so we're going to exhale as we tilt. And inhale as we return. Exhale to tilt. And inhale, 
return. If it helps, think about having something under your back. And as you exhale into it, you're trying to squash down. So feeling that back, touching the mat, and then bringing it back to that neutral position. Two more. And back. And exhale to tilt and back. So keeping that awareness of that neutral position, we're going to change the movement now and try and keep our core engaged and our abdominal area, our pelvis area nice and still. So you're going to breathe in and open your right knee out to the side, being mindful that you don't want your pelvis to move with the legs. So we've really got to control the movement and then bring it back. Now the left side, you're going to inhale and exhale. We're trying to do this without letting the pelvis move with the leg. So we inhale to open, exhale back, inhale to open, exhale back. So keep that breathing going, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, once more each side, inhale, exhale, and inhale, exhale. Well done. So you're getting the idea that we have to keep this nice, stable position. The more stable you are, the more you're going to work your core muscles. So let's add a new movement, keeping the hands where they are. You're going to take a breath in, and as you exhale, pull your tummy in and float the right knee up in the air. And we're trying to do this again without the pelvis reacting or tilting. And then you're going to inhale, you're going to tap the floor, you're going to exhale, bring the leg back up, keeping that pelvis still. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. One more. Inhale, lower and exhale, lift. Now pull your tummy muscles in, keep your pelvis still and try and float that left leg up and then place the right foot down. Other side, we're gonna inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Lower. And lift, so keep that breathing going. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, and last one. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Now stay there, pull your abdominals in, and try and bring that other foot up so both feet are in the air. Now it's a little bit more challenging, okay? So you can try and keep that pelvis still. You're gonna inhale, lower right leg. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, lower left leg. Exhale, bring it up, good. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, two more times. Lower and lift, and lower, and lift. Now take the right leg down, the left leg down, check you're still in neutral, and let's turn our attention to the shoulders. So you're gonna bring your arms up in the air, turn the palms towards each other, and try and feel your shoulder blades on your mat, and think about being wide across the front of the shoulders. 
So this is to teach you about your shoulder placement. Okay, so from here, we're going to inhale, reaching fingertips up to the ceiling. Exhale, you're going to draw your shoulder blades down onto your mat. So you inhale, reach up. You exhale, draw down. You inhale, reach up. You exhale, draw down. So as you draw down, think about your shoulder blades widening across the mat. So you lift up. As you draw down, they're just going to go wider, wider, wider. That's it. Inhale up. Exhale down. And last one. Inhale up. And exhale down. Well done. Now open your arms out to the side. Let's have the palms up and we're going to bring the feet and the knees together. Okay, so we're still trying to hold our neutral position, but now we're going to start to work through more of the spine. So you're going to inhale and let your knees, both knees, go over to the right hand side. So we're going into a gentle rotation. You're going to feel a lovely stretch. And then as you exhale, pull the tummy muscles in first and bring those knees back. Going the other way. Inhale as you go over. Exhale to come back. Inhale over. Exhale back. Inhale over. Just getting the feel of the movement, last two, over and back and over and back. Well done. Separate your feet and let's bring our hands down by our side, palms down. So keep that sense of opening through those shoulders that we just did. And now we're going to go into our pelvic curl. So you're going to take a breath in, breathe out and tip that pelvis back towards you. Press your feet down into the mat so you can lift your bottom up and think of peeling up. So you're trying to really curl the pelvis up off the floor. This is going to work all the bottom muscles, the hip muscles, and you're going to keep lifting until you can't lift any further. And I want you to focus on your bottom half here. It's very common for people to pop their ribs now. So just check your ribs are nice and closed and you're really feeling a stretch here and potentially you're feeling it in your bottom. Maybe your hamstrings are cramping. Sometimes they do when you first start to learn this exercise. So take a breath in there. Now breathe out and really soften through your rib cage so you can peel down through the spine. The idea being that you're doing it sequentially and so the last thing to hit the floor will be your tailbone and you're going to take a breath in. Breathe out so we tilt the pelvis and we peel up off the floor. Good. Ribs are closed. Take a breath in, let your ribs expand to the side. Breathe out, close the ribs and start to come all the way back down. Good. So things to think about are as you peel up, trying to keep your knees in line. Knees can wander. Okay, so alignment, very, very important. Inhale. Exhale as you come down. And we'll do one more deep breath in. Breathing out to tilt, peeling that spine up, inhale and exhale, coming all the way back down. Wonderful. Now find that neutral position again and we're going to take our hands up behind our head. So interlace your fingers. Take your hands behind your head and you're just supporting your head here. I want you to open your elbows so you can just see them out the corners of your eyes. 
Okay, a little nod of the chin. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, pull your abdominals in, and think of your chest floating up. So you're lifting up, and your eye line is gonna be directly between the space between your knees. And you're gonna inhale there. Exhale, pull the tummy muscles in and come back down. So take a deep breath in, breathe out. So you pull the tummy in to stabilize the pelvis. The idea it doesn't move now. And now it's just your top half of your spine lifting and looking forward, making sure you're not pulling on your neck. Inhale and exhale as you come back down. Two more deep breaths in. Breathing out, so pulling the tummy in first and then lifting. And you're pulling the tummy in constantly to keep your pelvis from tipping towards you. Inhale. Exhale to come back down. And last one, deep breath in. And exhale to lift. Inhale. And exhale, coming back down. Now we're gonna add a rotation to that movement. So take a breath in, breathing out, pulling the tummy in and lifting up. So you're finding that top position. Check that your elbows are open, check your pelvis is level. And now you're gonna take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you're gonna pull in that tummy again. And you're gonna do a gentle rotation. So you're trying to turn your ribs so that your left side of your rib cage is almost aligning with your right knee. And then coming back. Then the other way, you're gonna exhale as you rotate. And inhale back. So you're only rotating as far as you can go without your pelvis moving. That's the key thing. That way you're really going to trim that waistline, really going to strengthen those core muscles. Last two. And back. And rotate. And back. Now take a breath in. Try and lift a little more. And exhale coming all the way down. Well done. Okay, from there, you're gonna come onto your side. So now we're gonna talk about neutral on the side. And all of this is gonna set you up really well for any Pilates class you choose to do afterwards. So we're gonna start with the palm down on this arm, this hand in front, and looking down your body, check what's going on with those hips. We want this hip directly above this one. So you're not rolling forward or back. Feet towards the front of the mat. And then from there, you're gonna take a breath in, breathing out, and we're going to try and lift just the top leg up without the pelvis rolling forward or back. And then we're gonna lower down. We're going to lift. So exhale to lift and inhale to lower. Now just check that you've got a gap here. We don't want to be sinking into the floor. So if there's any doubt, you'll feel you're connecting here, we're gonna press that hip away, okay? And then we're gonna continue, lift and lower down. Exhale, lift and lower down. Exhale, lift and lower down one more time lift and lower down now you're going to lift that leg so it's in line with the hip and we're just going to try and swing it forward so you're going to swing it forward without your pelvis moving so only go as far as you can go without your pelvis moving and then you're going to take it back and only take it as far back as you can without your body tipping forward so it's not a big movement. This is all teaching you control of your core, your hip muscles going forward and going back. If you want to add the breathing now, exhale forward, 
inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. And exhale forward. Inhale back. Well done. Bring those legs together. Come on up. Let's go do that on the other side. So again, setting yourself up. We're trying to get into a slight banana shape. So feet towards the front corner of the mat, palm down, head resting, making sure that you're lifting here. So if there's any doubt, hand on that top hip and press that hip away. Okay, then we're gonna exhale to lift and inhale to lower. Exhale, lift and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and inhale lower exhale lift and inhale lower two more lift and lower and lift and lower now focusing on core control pelvic control we're going to lift up just in line with your hip keeping nice and still here we're going to swing the leg forward as we exhale Swing it back as we inhale. Really focus on your body, trying to feel that movement, feel your way through the movement. Exhale forward. Inhale back. We're not looking for big movements yet. You're just getting started with your Pilates. This is about learning to tune into your body and control your core muscles. That's the most important thing. Last one, forward and coming back. Bring those legs together now and we're just gonna roll onto our front for a gentle back extension. Okay, so we're gonna have the legs together, eye line down and think about the back of your neck. You don't want any creases in the back of your neck. So we're trying to align the neck with the rest of the spine, keeping the chin slightly tucked for now. And then reach your arms down your body, okay? And place them on the back of your legs. Okay, so it's like you're a dart. So think of really reaching down, drawing those shoulders down. And then as you breathe in, you're going to lift your chest away from the floor and breathe out to lower down. And your goal today is just to lift to wherever you can without letting your chin move. That's generally the most common mistake people make. And we want to keep that nice alignment of the spine without compressing anything in the neck there. So now we're really building strength in the back. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower, last one. Inhale to lift and exhale to lower. Bring your hands around underneath your shoulders and then we're going to bring ourselves up into a kneeling position. Okay, now spread those fingers. Think of pressing the floor away with those hands. All right, so you've got that lovely alignment. Now take a breath in and as you breathe out, pull in here and tuck under. Just give yourself a lovely stretch. And then inhale, go back the other way. And as you go back, press the floor away so you get a little back extension. Exhale, tucking under. Inhale, back. And last one, exhale, tucking under. And inhale, back. And there we are. That is your very first Pilates class. I do hope you enjoyed our Pilates for absolute beginners today. 
please do press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're ready for more, why not go and check out either my foundation playlist, which is seven days of introductory sessions to Pilates, or you can head straight to my beginners playlist. All right, so take care, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to support me and this channel, then please do check out my Ko-fi page, where not only will you be able to support me, but you'll also get an insight into all the other things going on in my life. I talk about nutrition, health, culture, all kinds of stuff. So if that's something that appeals to you, then do check out the Ko-fi page. Take care, and I'll see you soon.